YouTube, everybody. Thanks for coming back through. Um, today, I figured I would take the show on the road just a little bit. I am at Roast Coffee House down in the Exarban area, Omaha, Nebraska. What's up? Shouts out to Roast and Ownership. Always coming through. All right, so today we are going to be talking about a brand that I've reviewed a little bit before. Um, mixed results, mixed, uh, mixed feelings about the review, but I am super intrigued about some of the offerings that they come up with. And the fact that we cannot hate on the delivery of the packaging, we cannot be mad about the deliverables that they put in said packaging. Today, we are going to be talking about the One Mix Bumper Elite 3.0. I, I guess it's the 3.0. I didn't know about any of the other models. So today, that's what we're going to be talking about. The offering itself is pretty attractive. I, uh, as usual, got the loudest possible colorway of it. Because um, I wanted to, you know, if I'm going to order a new shoe and kind of test things out, I want to see it in its super cyan form i want to see it in its best possible display there is nothing to this shoe that is outstanding in terms of technology it's mostly basic you've got your basic eva foam i do not believe that it is a super critical foam you've got um engineered mesh there are aspects of uh like a 3m reflective but it's just a basic all-around good shoe. And so what I'm very interested to see is, you know, as I test it out, how does it hold up at the price point that it is? I got these for $79.99 on Amazon. I have seen them advertised on the One Mix site. I've seen them advertised on a few other sites, but I got mine off of Amazon. I see the reviews on Instagram. And so it looks like a pretty straightforward offering. So we'll go through some of the features here, and then we will uh, kind of talk about how I feel about the shoe itself. We'll go uh, upper midsole outsole as we usually do. The upper is engineered mesh, beautifully uh, crafted. It's on par with anything else that you could think of. Feels just like Adidas engineered meshes that I've had. Feels like Nike engineered meshes. Um, the shoe is roomy, definitely got some room in the toe box, and uh, I would say that's because of that wide engineered mesh up front. Little bit of fusing on the toe, nothing too extravagant, and then fused down lace eye stays. Probably the, the most intriguing part for me is it's got this really cool heel counter, externally molded. And I found out last night that it does glow in the dark. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, basic upper, well padded, um, fused tongue. So this entire upper is a no sew upper except for the stitching that holds down the uh, actual heel counter. The cushioning system inside, it is a gusseted tongue. So the tongue itself stays put, will not shift on you um breathable tongue if you can see that there's a little slice of neoprene in the center inset in the tongue with pretty decisive holes cut in for the breathability the insole of the shoe one mix does this they have a sort of textured cushioned insole giving you uh foot placement padding a little bit of extra padding it's your standard foam injected, you know, insole. Nothing super special about it. It's comfy enough, but it's not going to give you any extra support, no extra bounce, just there for comfort. And then you can see inside the shoe there. I wonder if I can get a view of it. I've already been running in mine. And it's got this strange pattern. I don't know exactly what it says, but it says, looks like it says Stoke. You can see it's perforated on the insole. On the heel, there's an air unit inside this heel, which is pretty interesting. So there's an air unit plugged in right here. It's just normal on the forefoot. So then if you, you know, to match that air unit on the outside, you can kind of see they've done this on a few of their shoes. I know we skipped to outsole really quickly, but on a few of their shoes, 
they've done this where there's this little bumper, this little air bumper, a little bladder that fills toward the inside to give you a little bit of extra hit on that cushioning. So now that we're at it, let's talk about the midsole. The midsole cushioning is what I think is just a compression molded EVA. It's blown, you know, so that there it's a little puffier. Feels like Hoka. Very cushiony, very big and fluffy and puffy. Um, I don't know the drop on this shoe. Now, what you have to understand about One Mix is they don't have a lot of information about their shoes. They're kind of a bargain brand, and they just get you the shoe straightforward, tell you a little bit about how, that it's cushioned or that it has a plate in it or those kind of things. But that's the most you're going to get. So I don't know the drop in particular about this. Now, what I do dig is if you can see that, I don't know if it's being picked up by the camera. There's a texture inside the molded texture right there. You can see it. It's really cool. That had to be in the mold for them to get that. I really, really dig that about this shoe. Just a little something extra, a little something special. So that's where we're at on it. But the midsole cushioning is very good. Now, I will say the drop is a bit drastic, and that's going to come from what I'm going to show you right now. One Mix has a little torsional plug-in right there in the middle. It is hard. Let me see if I can show you that. So you can hear that, but it's not for any kind of stability. That's actually an air pathway. This air pathway injects air into the shoe as you step. Um, just naturally, there's no no bladders, no bags, no nothing. It allows air to pass into the shoe, and it does work somewhat. The outsole, you're actually working with an, with what looks like actual tire rubber. You know, it's got a really aggressive tire pattern with a channel that runs straight down the middle. And then there's this little bump padding right at the forefoot ball of your foot. A little bit annoyingly, you can feel that. That kind of goes away when I put my own insole in it. But truth be told, you can feel that initially. So that's something that you might be aware of if you do get this shoe. Cushioning is great. Don't know how long the cushioning is going to last. And I don't want to continue downplaying this shoe just because it's a new brand or it's a Chinese brand or it's a brand that no one's heard of. Like, it's a good shoe. And a good shoe is all it needs to be there's brands all over this world that aren't you know the major four in running or some of the uh you know distance running brands and those other things but these have some uh some very particular features um love the pull tab love the heel counter there one mix does give you a total package and it's pretty cool you're going to get the yellow drawstring bag with these with a window in it to see your shoes. It came in, the, the, the shoes actually came in this package, by the way. You're going to have the insoles and in all of their shoes, they've been giving a pair of socks. Okay, now truth is, after doing the initial review and putting in more and more days of walking, standing, running in these shoes, the thing that always comes out in the end is just, the overall quality of the shoe the build quality is fine they felt exactly like the new balance more v4 i believe what was it v v3 that i reviewed anyway they felt exactly like those so to say these aren't top quality would say that new balance isn't i just think that a certain type of foot it's a very general shoe it's a very, uh, you know, you need a perfectly neutral foot. You perhaps need a, a not so rigid foot that needs this kind of cushioning. Um, I need a more terse, uh, sharper response, even in some of the over cushioned shoes. That's why I like my Hoka Transport X so much. That's why I like my uh, Adistar CS so much. It's just really, really soft. I can't get back out of it. I can feel myself struggling, even walking, to get back out of it. I, I think if you're the type that wants to try something 
And I know everyone is seeing these shoes pop up in their feed because the online presence from Chinese brands, they've got it on lock with marketing in an online sense. I've, I've had friends travel to China, go to factories, doing work over in China. And, you know, the way that they do everything is through their phones, mobile devices, WeChat. The marketing of a shoe like this is starting to hit us. The inclusions in this shoe are great. The packaging, top notch. You know, I, I wish some of the bigger brands would appreciate and, and, and adhere to some of that versus just giving us the cardboard box. I will say, well worth the cost of trying to figure out if it works for you. This is my third pair of one mix shoes. I've got more one mix shoes now than I have Mizunos. I've got just as many one mix shoes as I have Pumas and Asics. So I'd be hypocritical to say not to try them, but in the end, they're not gonna get a whole lot of work with me until I find the one that works. And I suppose that's the same with every brand, but um, even more so with a more obscure brand that you're just now trying to get into. So that is the One Mix Bumper Elite. More than serviceable, quite comfortable, may or may not be your cup of tea. That doesn't mean it don't work. All right, y'all, we'll talk soon. Peace.